The EQ section of Track Plug provides up to 10 bands with 64-bit equalization. You can select from 11 different EQ types for each band. In addition, the EQ section features a real-time spectrum analyzer and brick wall low and high filters. Each EQ band has a control point which can be dragged into the frequency response display to adjust its parameters. Or you can adjust the parameters using the knobs. And you can also type in values. Bands can be added by clicking the Add button, deleted by clicking the Delete button. Double clicking in the frequency response display creates a new parametric EQ band. In this case, dragging the control point is adjusting the frequency and height of the parametric. We can adjust the width by holding down the Shift key and dragging. Now let's take a look at the different EQ types. In addition to the parametric, there's also low shelf and high shelf filters, and resonant low shelf and high shelf filters, which have a symmetric overshoot around the shelf frequency. There's also a vintage low shelf and high shelf filter, which has overshoot on only one side of the shelf. Finally, there are also low pass, high pass, notch, and band pass filters. Track plug ships with a large set of EQ presets, which can be accessed from the preset menu. Here, for example, is the Tom Control preset. You can also step through the presets by clicking on the preset button. And you can save your own EQ preset. Click Save As, type in a new name, and now your preset appears in the user preset menu. If you shift click in the frequency response display, you get a pop up that shows a set of all bands and their parameters. You can then select which band you want to be active for editing. Shift clicking on the vertical axis displays a pop up of the different vertical ranges in case you need to zoom in on an EQ display. Okay, let's use the EQ to process some music. I'm going to create a high shelf filter to remove some of the high frequencies. Now I'm going to create a parametric to boost the mids. And finally, I'm going to create a low shelf filter to boost the low frequencies. Now we can enable and disable the EQ to hear the change. EQ disabled. EQ enabled. Okay, let's take a quick look at the real-time analyzer. Clicking the RTA button turns on the real-time analyzer, which shows spectrum level as a set of third octave bands. Shift clicking on the vertical axis gives a number of options for both the range of the real-time analyzer display and whether the RTA runs pre or post EQ. In this case, we're running the analyzer post EQ. Now let's look at the brick wall filters. Now I'm enabling the low brick wall filter and adjusting its frequency by dragging the control point. Now the high brick wall filter. The brick wall filters are useful for eliminating rumble, hiss, or for just listening to a specific range of frequencies. Okay, that's a quick overview of the features in the track plug EQ.